A brand new channel and a brand new service from BBC Television began today. BBC News 24, providing up-to-the-minute reports from around the world. And BBC One will be joining them in a couple of minutes. A look at the weather first on BBC One with David Lee. Hello, well some very heavy rain across some southern part of Britain during the course of Sunday and you can see here the totals just to the south of London. I shall go to see George. Next Sunday on Tom Jones. I have thrown away my heart on a man who has forsaken me. Miss Sophia Weston. I will not marry Mr. Blithill. There is no other way to succeed with my niece but by violent methods. <laughs> you shall have her tomorrow! Where or where could your ladyship possibly go? To London. Adam Sophia is, I regret to say, not to be found. The classic feast continues next Sunday at 9 on BBC One. <laughs> the hotel always maintains a cool exterior. The people don't see scream and shout. But behind the scenes, the heat is on. You're an embarrassment. I'm too busy to cope with embarrassment this week. And tempers are rising. The head waiter omitted to say that it wasn't necessary to have the potatoes ready because he's an idiot. It's kicking off again. Just cook, will ya? It all goes up in smoke at the hotel. Tomorrow at 9.30 on BBC One. I'm a pussy cat. This is BBC One. Now we join a brand new 24-hour channel for reports of events from around the world. Every night, every week. BBC News 24. Hello, you're watching BBC News 24. Welcome to viewers of BBC One who've just joined us. I'm Sean Williams. And I'm Matthew Emery Warner. The headlines at 12 midnight. The Iraqi weapons crisis deepens. Saddam Hussein says his country must choose between honor and confrontation. And the Queen Mother joins the crowds at the Cenotaph, her first Remembrance Day parade for four years. The United Nations Secretary General Kofi Annan has warned tonight no one should underestimate the seriousness of the Iraqi...